Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use overwhelm, overwhelmed, and overwhelming. This is a question that a student had asked and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between overwhelm, to be overwhelmed, and overwhelming. Our first one, overwhelm. This is a verb, to overwhelm. To overwhelm is about a feeling or an emotion, and it's a very strong and sudden feeling or emotion, and it's a negative feeling. You can think of it as the same as worry, anxiety, or stress. Our sentence structure here, we need someone, so a subject, overwhelms someone. For example, I could say, I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information. Now notice I used it in the negative. I don't want to overwhelm you. Because remember, overwhelm is a negative feeling. So let's say this video is 50 minutes long and I go into a very technical description of the word overwhelm. Well, then you will probably feel that emotion because you're going to feel like, oh my God, this is so much information. That is overwhelm. Now, it's commonly used in the passive form. And in this case, it's to be overwhelmed. And it's talking about your personal feeling, not the person who causes the feeling in you. So for example, you could say, I'm so overwhelmed. I am, I'm, to be overwhelmed. So notice in this case, we need an ED on that verb. I'm overwhelmed. Because this is a feeling, you can also commonly use the verb feel. I feel overwhelmed. So if you watch a 50 minute video with a very technical explanation of the word origins of overwhelm, by the end of that video, you're probably going to have this strong negative reaction similar to stress or anxiety or worry, and that will be overwhelmed. You can definitely use this in a workplace situation. So let's say you have three deadlines by the end of this week. You could turn to your coworker and say, I'm so overwhelmed right now. And of course, it's because of all the work you have. So commonly used in that passive form. Now, our final form, overwhelming. This is an adjective. So the sentence structure will be different we can describe a situation as overwhelming. So you could say that meeting was overwhelming. We still need here a verb because overwhelming is an adjective. So here we're using the verb to be, to be overwhelming. That meeting was overwhelming. So you sat through a 50 minute meeting giving you a very technical explanation and by the end you had this feeling of overwhelm. So you're describing the meeting as overwhelming. As an adjective, you don't have to use this with the verb to be. You can modify any noun. For example, I could say, I have an overwhelming amount of work to do. So here my noun is amount of work and I'm just giving more information by using the adjective overwhelming. I have an overwhelming amount of work to do. Now you understand the feeling I have about the work, which is of course a negative feeling similar to stress, anxiety, or worry. So now you have three different ways to use overwhelm. We have the active form of the verb to overwhelm someone. We have the passive form to be overwhelmed. And then we have the adjective you can describe something as overwhelming. So hopefully you're not overwhelmed right now. And I'm going to give you a task 
Hopefully it's not an overwhelming task. The task is of course to write three examples in the comments below using overwhelm, to be overwhelmed and overwhelming. You can do it, right? Put those in the comments below to practice. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And if you're a busy professional who's serious about improving your English speaking skills, then I want you to go to my website, j4isenglish.com. There, you'll find a free case study where you'll learn how to feel confident speaking English in public so you can impress your boss and clients with your message in only 30 days. To get your free case study, simply click the button, enter your name and email, and you'll get instant access. And until next time, happy studying. You're not overwhelmed, are you? I definitely don't wanna overwhelm my students with too much information. That's why these videos are always nice and short and on a specific topic so you don't feel overwhelmed. So make sure you leave those three examples in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.